Hey everyone, I'm going to give you my tips for round four of this week's game. Starting off tomorrow night, Parramatta Eels taking on the Penrith Panthers. It is the grand final rematch. Parramatta Eels go into this game with an 0 free start to the season. Look, personally, in my opinion, Parramatta Eels probably should have at least had two games to start the season so far. The game against the Storm at uh, Combat Stadium and also the game against the Sharks, especially with games that really they should have had at least um, four points on the board from those two games, especially. So, yeah, look, in regards to the Panthers, you know, lost the World Club Challenge to St. Helens, uh, then lost in round one to the Brisbane Broncos, which was a huge shock and a surprise. Look, um, the Panthers have lost Viliami Kikau and Episode Coruscant in the off season, So, you know, it, it does look like their attack was probably not at their best, but... Look, you know, the bye probably does help the Panthers in a way because, you know, they can have a bit of time to build those combinations. Now, I do expect the Eels to come into this game very desperate, wanting to get the win because, look, I know it's only four games in. I know it's only early. But really, I think the Eels need to start getting a win now because their next couple games aren't going to get any easier. And, look, the draw hasn't been very kind to start the season either. So, uh, look, who am I tipping in this game? I am going to go the Panthers here to win this one, but I'm not going 13-plus. I'm going to go Panthers by six. The next game now is on Friday night, so we've got two games on Friday. First one on, on the Friday is the Storm taking on the West Tigers. Melbourne Storm versus West Tigers at uh, Amy Park. The Storm... Huge in, actually, and that is Cameron Munster. That's right, he has been named in the side. It is important to, you know, get him back in this team because, look, the Storm are struggling. They are struggling, no doubt about it. But in saying that, it's not all on Cameron Munster, you know. They they need an effort from their whole side, especially. And, look, for me, in regards to this game, I am going to tip the Storm. You know, I can't tip the Tigers. The Tigers have been very disappointing so far this year. They have yet to win a game. Yes, they had a good fight back in the second half against the Bulldogs, but it looked like the Bulldogs took the foot off the pedal there and allowed them back in it. So, I I am going to go to Storm here. I'm going to go Storm by 16 points over the Tigers. The Battle of Brisbane commences with the Dolphins taking on the Broncos. Boy, this game is an anticipated encounter. You know, probably a game where a lot of people have been penciling in uh, in the offseason in their calendar to look forward to. Now, believe it or not, both teams are undefeated. That's right. They have not lost the game. And for me, it's more of a shock that the Dolphins have started this well. Could considering they are the new franchise into the competition, and you know, probably don't have the superstars that a lot of other NRL teams do have, but they've got the master in Wayne Bennett. An absolute legend. Wayne Bennett's been around for a long time. He knows how to get the best in teams. You know, We've seen that before. We saw that when he was in Brisbane when he won those premierships. We saw him. Do that when he was coaching the South. You know, he's been around for a long time, Wayne Bennett. So, look, you can't write the Dolphins team off. You can't write them off whatsoever. I still personally believe Brisbane are favourites and should win this game. But the Dolphins side have shown some great resilience in their game so far. Roosters winning that game, beating the Raiders. You know, the Raiders were coming for the Dolphins, but the Dolphins, to their credit, you know, continued to show that performance. So, who am I tipping in this game? Look, it's, look, it's pretty obvious. I am going to tip the Broncos to win here. I'm actually thinking this game will be close. I reckon this game will be a very good clash. This game could pot potentially, this game could be potentially game of the round. I'm going to go the, the Broncos. I'm going to go Broncos by just four points. Four points only separates these two sides at the end of the game. Now to Saturday games now. So we've only got the two games on Saturday. We've got the Cowboys 
North Queensland Cowboys taking on the Gold Coast Titans at Queensland Country Bank Stadium in Townsville. Cowboys have not looked at their best so far this year. Yes, last week they had no Scott Drinkwater. They had no Peter Hiku, but still, the Cowboys still feel a very strong side. And they'll be very disappointed with the way they played. Look, I think they started off particularly well against my team, the one New Zealand Warriors. But they just, you know, didn't look great, you know, in that second half especially. And, you know, the Warriors to the Warriors credit, my team's credit there, you know, defended very well. But, look, the Titans last week up on the Gold Coast had very hot weather conditions there. In a high-scoring game against the Storm, they got the win. You know, still, you know, linking points. You know, what comes to the Titans, they leak a lot of points. So, look, I am going to tip the Cowboys here to win. I think there is a bounce-back factor here at home. You know, they don't want to lose two games in a row at Queensland Country Bank Stadium. And, uh, you know, they'll be eager to get back in the winner's circle. So... I am going to go the Cowboys to win this game, but I'm not going 13 plus. I think the Titans are a real, real chance to go up to North Queensland Stadium and win up there and get another um, two competition points. So I think it'll be competitive. I'm going to go Cowboys to win this one. I'm only going to go them by eight. Eight points for me. The next game sees the South Sydney Rabbitohs taking on the Manly Warunga Seagulls. Now, this game has been played, played at a core stadium in Sydney. It is the first game, um, first home game for the Rabbitohs this year. Now, the Seagulls have started the season off well. The, the Anthony Seabolt reign has started perfectly well. Um, you know, the likes of Cherry Evans, Schuster, Tommy Travoyevich, Ruben Garrick, great four pack as well. You know, you can see that the Seagulls are coming into this year with a point to prove. I know it's only four games in um but they even showed in the preseason as well so look i think um you know this game is very difficult to call because the bunnies last week against the roosters started off pretty strong in that first half then that second half you know just wasn't a good performance in the second half although the scoreline showed at the end it was only 20 points to 18 so look i think for me it is difficult. This game is a flip of a coin. I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen in this one. I just think that, you know, the Bunnies will be, you know, keen to bounce back. And, and the Seagulls, they'll be looking to continue strong form. So, look, I am going to go with the... Uh, oh, this is difficult. I'm going to go with... Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to tip the Bunnies. I'm going to tip. I'm going to go and tip the Rabbitohs here. And I reckon they'll win this one by four points over the Seagulls. I think the Seagulls will probably suffer their first loss of the season. Now to the Sunday games now. So we've got the Warriors, my team, the one who's always taken on the Cannon Banks down Bulldogs. This game's been played at Mount Smart Stadium in Auckland. Boy, it's going to be awesome to see the team run up to Mount Smart for the first time this year. Now, these two sides coming off wins as well. Look, the Warriors, very good win up there in town. So can they continue this form? Can they continue on this effort? Webby's doing a great job with the side so far. Bulldogs, good win also. I am going to tip my side, the Warriors. I'm going to back my boys in here. I'm going to go with the Warriors to win this game by 12 um, over the Dogs. I reckon it's going to be a good contest. Uh, on to the other game now. So we've got the Newcastle Knights taking on the Canberra Raiders uh, there at McDonald Jones Stadium. Uh, look, for me, looking at uh, the Newcastle Knights, have had some injury troubles. The Raiders, good win last week against the Sharks down there in Canberra. I'm going to go with the Raiders to win this one. And I'm going to go Raiders by 16 points. The Dragons taking on the Sharks. I am going to tip the... I'm going to go with the Sharks with the return of Nicholas Hines, which is a huge boost for them having the Dali M medalist winner from last year. And I reckon he will guide the Sharks to victory over the Dragons here. So that's my NRL tips, everyone. Let me know your tips down in the comments below.